One, two. I assume we're recording. Yes. Okay, Adrian, this is uh, Jim. I'm making this movie, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. So you can see how to do this. And what we're going to learn to do is how to re-put the new voiceovers in. And for anybody else who might have found this later on, when I make it unprivate and this toy comes out, this could be called, <clears throat> I don't know, how to change a voiceover to different sound effects or how to make post-production or something like that. Anyway, so here's my desktop. Um, all right, Adrian, I made notes so I could make this, try to be as concise as quickly as possible. So you might want to get a piece of paper so you can take <clears throat> some notes because some stuff you just can't, you're not going to be able to remember. All right, so to start out with is we are doing this project and it was just magic wands. I want you to see how I have these things organized. Um, first, see how I have the Pro Tools sessions and then they have boys, girls, and everything, boys and girls. Um, and then he, he separates them out into spells and other items. Okay, also, the way I do my FTP, I have a folder that's FTP because this is where all your videos are going to end up. And so you could double click it when you get on the server and it should just download here. What you do is you go to, you basically use uh, FileZilla and um, when you double click them, they will, they will download. And the idea is it should, you should try to keep it matching what's up there. You may feel like you don't really need to do that now, but when you're about to do now, you're going to want everything just at your fingertips because you're not doing one. You're going to do a ton of these. Okay. Next thing is then I have finals. My finals folder, just like in the studio, is different. And then I take these and I, I drag and drop them. So like, for example, the pink wands that we're doing, it all matches. So these are the these are pink. Like this is sepia finals or pink wands. Really, it's going to be girls, pink, uh, pink, blue, whatever. And then there's going to be the names of all the spells. And that's where all these are. Okay, now what I have done is I have given you this right here. This is our FileZilla, and we're logged in. And as you can see, darn it, um, you're putting stuff in Adrian's stuff, and you're going to be putting, you can put this stuff in Adrian's stuff, and that's fine because um, I don't mind, you know, I like to kind of check it before I actually put it in there. Um, and I need this, the Pro Tools sessions. But anyway, <clears throat> okay, under here, I have put all this as pink spells that are Pro Tools zipped. The reason is I have done this is because, um, where are they? Yeah, Pro Tools spells zipped. And I zipped them all up, as you can see, so they would all download. So you can download all these. Of course, you can hit Option. And hit the download button for each one or highlight all or something like that. Or highlight the folder and hit download. They'll end up in your folder that I keep talking about. My is an FTP folder. Then these are the templates for what you're going to do. Which and the reason you need a template is because in order for our stuff to sound right and sound consistent, you need to use mine. So if you get in a position where you need to make music, you can make a session, make the music. And make some like sub mixes, meaning like you could you do it many different ways. If it doesn't have a ton of tracks, you know you could you could lay off five, the five instruments. If there's a ton of tracks, I might lay off all strings, all drum, you know the drums and bass, only because I find at times sound effects sometimes <clears throat> you know the frequent different frequencies that are affect the, the 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 sound effects frequencies can change the mix of the music in the background. So if it has a lot of high end, it may make, you know, all the high strings start to disappear, you know. And so I may either want to pull the strings down and, and make another instrument stand out at the bottom or just do the opposite, just pull those strings up or re-EQ them so they come out. The way you, and uh, anyway, but that, and I'll tell you about mixing in a little bit. All right. So that's the organization, but you need all of these. Well, there's some you don't need, but you mostly need all. Yeah, you need all these. That's why I uploaded them last night. They, they uploaded overnight. So get those first thing, okay? Now, if you go into, like for me, I'm going to go into girls' wands, and blue wands is all there. And they're all spells that they're going to do. 
So then you go, blue video spells from Chris, and like, these are the spells. So now I'm going to basically download those. So I can go download, and sometimes that does it. And it should download all my stuff to my FT folder over here. So it should be all kind of coming in as it's downloading. If you do that, it just goes a lot faster and everything just is there and then you can work for that. And every time he says there's a chain. So yeah, you can see this stuff starting to populate into the proper folders. Okay, <clears throat> next step. Where am I? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me one second. Where am I? For people in YouTube land, if you're watching this other time, they're going to be like, what the poop? Um, all right, here we go. All right, so what you're doing is we have sound effects that sound like this. Bubble. Okay, I'm going to play these for you and comment. The way the toy works is it starts with number one. The kid plays Let's it. Let's try the bubble spell. It's popingly fun. Just flick, flick, flick. Okay. All right. Then we go to um, if they do it wrong, it goes. That was close. Try again. Okay. Then they go. Good try. Let me help you. I'm not sure what that is, but that's another option. I think that's if they fail so many times, they're going to play it anyway or something like that. But that is a little more positive than this one. Just that note. was close. So they did kind of mess up a little bit, so it's not as positive. So this one is the, the spell that they get. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, I need to go over this because it's important because you're making me this number three version but I never got one, two A, and two B. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. They are already in there and you're gonna like change them around. So what I wanted to say was, I'm making the third one. And then I use parts, since I make it in Logic, and Logic doesn't do a good job of, can't really import multiple videos. I then take bits of that or even make a little thing, a pad or something that I can use so when they do start it, I have a little pad left over or I assemble little extra tracks. That's why, but you want to make music in one session and you want to make, um, then when you go to post, you have to use my session and import your tracks in there and mix within my environment, okay? Also because I know what it is, all right? But then like here's an example of... Let's try the bubble spell. It's poppingly fun. Just so it's the, the music and sound in the background is basically setting the mood. The other two are not nearly as important. Sometimes they're so short you can't even find anything for them. So Good try. So I didn't put anything there. That was close. Okay, the other thing is the reverbs and the sound. You have a kaboom on the end of your one and it goes into no no land. The deal is when these things stop, they just stop. So at the end of this sound bite, pop, pop. that's it. That's it. So it's you've got to cut all reverbs before then. You got to cut all fades before then and you have to just make it that way. So now let's pretend like we're going to do one and I'm, we're going to go to the confetti spells that you already did it. Um, and show you what kind of what you're going to want to do and how to do it. Hopefully I'm not talking too fast. All right. So first thing you want to do is make sure the video is available. So we're doing confetti spell. So I go to confetti and I'm going to look at the FTP videos and I'm going to look under the girls um, blue spells video from Chris and I'm looking for confetti, and here they are. Okay, so what you get from Chris is, I'll, go, I'll just go straight to three, and I always do three first, one second, and then two A and B. So you know this, right? So this is what you got. All right, so there's no, there's no sound there, but we have a pink confetti version, which sounds like... Hang on, I gotta get this all done in 15 minutes. Confetti version. Okay, so that's the that's the pink one. 
right? And let's go to the the blue one that Chris has given you. Um, <clears throat> spells uh, from Chris, confetti, and your there's a comparison. Okay, here's three. This is the yeah confetti confetti part three. Oh darn it! And I need pink part three. See, this gets really confusing. Pink. Confetti blue, okay, I need pink, confetti pink, here it is. Part three, so here's the two right next to each other, and here we go. Confetti! Now I got a swirl, I got a sparkles, I got a shoot. Stand back! Stand back, and kaboom! Now from there on, everything is the same, so let's see what happens here. Confetti! So she said confetti, maybe a different speed, swirl, pop. Okay, it's exactly the same. Swoosh, cannon goes now back. The party's Wait. On. She says, now the party's on, cannon goes up, bam. So what happened here? There's like... Stand back. So she says, the pink says stand back. She says, now the party's on. So it is really close to the same speed. All this stuff is the same. Now the party's on. Okay, so like... Yeah, so if you can see, they're both playing. They're pretty much the same. Okay, so this one's shorter. So now what you need to do is basically take all the stuff from here and place it over here. And this is how you do that. And I'm going to go through the template at the same time. So you you find your session. It's called Mine's called Confetti Pink. You need to rename this when you download it to Confetti Blue Adrian, Okay. I already have this open so we and it copied so we can look at it. And this is what I have. Here's my little sound bite. And I'm going to go over this template because you've got to learn about this template. Okay? It's very important <clears throat> that you use this template, and I will try to explain to you why. Music goes all the way into these tracks. Okay? They're going to be all the music tracks. All the music is submixed. The verb goes into the submix. And the music goes in the submix, and they all end up together. Um, so the reverb that's for music ends there because if we ever need to lay off stems, we don't want to have to be routing the reverb and muting tracks that have reverb reverb on. So whenever you do this in post production, you have a, a reverb that's just for there. And, and because you have to lay off stems, which is all sound effects, all music, all dialogue, you always sub mix them. Now the way. I do it for toys and for commercials. This is different than a lot of people would do to, for movies or something like that or TV shows to make them sound good. Is we're basically smashing the hell out of it. So this music sub ends up with an EQ. The reason I drop the music in the middle, and sometimes I don't if it's mostly music-based, is I want the sound effects and the voice to pop out there. Okay? Just a little bitty hole. Okay? Then I use a C4. And you can see the music going. Okay? Also, I can get rid of all this other stuff and just work with just the music itself. All right? Now, when I, <clears throat> for what you're doing here, you probably don't need to turn these off. But generally, the first thing I do is I listen to it, and then I'm going to turn those off. And if I'm adding or making more music I, and I have to remix, I'm going to turn all these off and build, build from the bottom up. I'm going to mix the music, turn these up, then I'm going to mix the sound effects. I'm going to turn that up. And then I'm going to start.